Good morning, GC. I'm Jillian Wynn here with Marcy Williams to bring you today's announcements. The coffee shop will be closed during lunch temporarily, but the perch will still be open during breakfast and break. All FCS students, please remember to pick up cookie dough today in the foods lab. This is a frozen product and must be picked up today and delivered as soon as possible. Tomorrow evening in the pack will be the Orchestra Halloween Spooktacular. It will involve it will involve the elementary and high school orchestras. Elementary concerts start at 5 and high school at 7.30. The costume contest will begin at 7. Enjoy Southern Red's barbecue sandwiches, baked beans, chips, and a drink for just $5 when the Grace County Varsity Football Eagles host the Callaway Lakers this Friday night. The Grace County High School chapter of the FCCLA offers the tasty meal from 5.30 until halftime. Proceeds will benefit the club's impact project to help the Lighthouse Women's Ministry of Mayfield. During the break, Dakota Ray asked, what is the history of Halloween? And Ashley Copeland shares a video to get cross country pumped up, pumped up for Saturday's regional tournament. Hey GC, as you may or may not have known, Halloween originates from the ancient Celtic festival. It was originally a celebration of the end of their harvest season. The ancient Gaels believed that on October 31st, dead would come back to life to cause havoc such as sickness or dead crops. This holiday later would spread into American culture and become what we know today. We went out into the halls of GC to see what our fellow Eagles think Halloween originates from. How do you think Halloween originated? History of ghosts from dead people. Pumpkins. <laughs> this girl gave a presentation one time about how Halloween uh, originated in the Celtic community and then it modernized in America. Uh, girls like to dress up as kittens and that's how I did it. Because of Halloween Town. What? <laughs> She's a witch. This, I don't know their name, but like they danced around a fire to ward off evil ghosts. <laughs> I think two people were walking down the street. Uh, one said, the other one said, hey, wouldn't it be cool if a holiday was like, would it scare people? The other one said, hey. Let's call it Halloween. Hey, that's, that's a great name. Today's weather is mostly sunny with a high of 62 and a low of 38. Tomorrow is mostly sunny with a high of 63 and a low of 48. And Saturday showers with a high of 58 and a low of 51. to nominate a staff member for the Eagles Choice Award for October. Be sure you go by the library or Commons to fill out a form and put it in the box. You may also fill out one electronically and send it to jennifer.tilford at graves.kyschools.us. Young Republican members need to see Miss Walmart in Pack 2 to get your club sticker. 
Any senior who is interested in attending University of Kentucky next year and participating in athletic training, physical therapy, nursing, pre-med, or etc., and would like to be exposed to the profession of, of, of athletic training and sports medicine should see Ms. Rogers in the guidance office for more information. Congratulations to Krista Crittenden for winning this week's Dairy Queen Photo of the Week contest. She posted this shot on Instagram of her girls on the front row. Don't forget to post your picture, your school spirit pictures on Instagram or Twitter with hashtag GCNation to win next week's prize. If you paid Spanish Club dues and have not yet received a Spanish Club pass, please stop by room C18 to get one for Ms. Thompson. Seniors, order your graduation announcements and accessories today and Friday during lunch. You should have received an announcement information packet at the group meeting. Extra ones are available in the school office. Talk with your parents and be prepared to place your order with a minimum $80 deposit. Make sure your sixth period class participates in the door decorating contest for Red Ribbon Week. This year's theme is Respect Yourself, Be Drug Free. Doors will be judged Thursday. The winning class receives a pizza party on the day of the teacher's choosing, courtesy of Stop Club. Here's a look at the spirit days for the rest of Red Ribbon Week. Today is Superhero Day, and tomorrow is Halloween Costume Day. The first period class with the most students who dress up all week will win a breakfast party courtesy of Stop Club. Attention sophomores and juniors who took the PSAT. School reports for the October PSAT will be available online in December, and paper reports will arrive in January. There will be a beta club t meeting tomorrow in the gym. That's all for today. For GCTV, I'm Jillian Wynn. And I'm Marcy Williams. Have a great day, GC.